welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How are you? So what are we doing today? So first I wanted to show you. Let's walk over here. So guess what came? And I'll tell you what didn't come yesterday. And I'm really annoyed. Uh, and I'm laughing now, but I am not laughing on the inside, I'm telling you. What did come was my rat stencils. So that is pretty cool. So look, I, I did one yesterday, last night. It almost looks like gold leaf. Um, and I added some little highlights here uh, with the gold paint. So that is really cool. So these actually fit kind of perfectly um, on the wood pieces. So I got the folk art. I said old gold, but I was close. It's antique gold. And I got the Deco Art Extreme Sheen um, metallic paint. And that is what this is here. Okay. So, yeah, so these are really adorable. So you got the five inch one, the three inch one. These are the inside, so this is pretty cool. Uh, if you wanna add more detail, you just kinda of stick this little dude in here and you could add the detail of the eye, which I can do that by hand. You know, freehand, I don't need a stencil to, for me to draw a little circle, but, or paint a circle, but, um, I just thought these were cute, just like an easy way to, uh, you know, do the little uh, decoration of the rat. And then you got the the five inch big dude here. So, and I think this was, I don't know, I think it was like, I'm going to say six, seven dollars for both of them. Um, so I was surprised that came, but what I was even more surprised about was that my Primal Flow still didn't show up. And I'm really upset about that because now, you know, I'm kind of worried because um, I spent a lot of money and it was I had it re-delivered, scheduled to be re-delivered re yesterday and they never showed up. So, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Um, I'm going to have to go to the post office and find out what is going on because I tried contacting them. It's not the company, it's um, the post office. So anyway, I'm going to probably go to the post office later today and hopefully find out what the heck is going on. And as soon as I find out, you guys will know. And yeah, I hope I don't have to get my money back and go through all that because I really want the paint. You know, I paid for it, I want it, and it's not the company's fault, it's the post office. So, you know, I'm hoping they did not lose it because they just didn't, sh you know, they came ultra late, you know, on the day it was supposed to be originally delivered, and I wasn't home. You know, they can't expect people to wait 10, 12 hours not leaving the room and going outside and doing stuff, so it's it's ridiculous. And I live in an apartment building, not in a house, so, you know, unfortunately, my packages have been taken, so I'd rather have them taking it back, but instead of just leaving it there for someone to steal, you know, I get that, um, but still, it's annoying. Anyway, I hope I can get it, because I was really excited about it. Anyway, <laughs> well, I'm going to stop venting for a minute. These all dried really, really nice. So pretty. Um, yeah, they all dried perfectly. And I'm going to tell you what I did yesterday, which I'm so happy I was able to fix it. This one, I don't know if you remember it, but I will link the a video here. This one looked much different. Um, what happened was when it's on this rack here drying, when I first pour, um, I let it sit there for a little while because, you know, it's wet and I don't want to move it and ruin it. So it was late at night and uh, what happens is sometimes it gets stuck on the rack and it got stuck a little bit and I popped it up and it tipped inside here. <sighs> so there was a big gash like right around here in it. So I was able to fix it. Um, I actually used 
um, a little Vaseline on my finger and I just kind of like tapped it down and just like wiped it down got rid of the a uh, little dent and I just kind of wiped that a little bit you know I tapped it out and then I report over it and I used the extreme sheen again and I did use more of the primal flow a uh, glam red and I did another straight pour on top of it and actually it came out even better um, yeah so I'm actually happy that there's a little texture in there which is totally cool but look at that that is beautiful so actually I like it even more now so I'm actually grateful I, I ruined it and that I was able to fix it so that is really cool so on this one I actually may use the because I was thinking about doing black um, rats because you know the uh, the characters Chinese or Korean characters are typically in black ink and I was thinking more on those lines, but I'm like, the black may take away from it. Um, yeah, so I don't want it to look like a plague rat, you know, <laughs> like the bubonic plague rat. We don't need that. Um, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to settle with the, you know, the different types of gold. Because this, the old, uh, the antique gold is a little darker. So maybe on this one, I'll do the antique gold. So that'll give a different variation of, um, you know, different types of gold. So I'm going to not do the black. And yeah, and if I do a little, um, maybe like in the eye, if I do do an eye, I'll do like a little dot of black or something like that. But um, yeah. That is what I'm gonna do, and right after this, I'm just gonna do one for. Um, I'm gonna do one uh, right after I discuss what I'm doing now. So yeah, um, this uh, it's called Stencil Shapes. That's the name of the company, StencilShapes.com. Not sponsored, obviously, but you know, just letting you know if you're into stencils, I think that's a pretty good price. It, they really weren't that expensive, and you get two of them, so that's pretty cool. So what we are actually doing today, after I just do one of these little stencils real quick, I am going to do, because yesterday something else funny happened. Yesterday I was just dropping everything. I was ultra clumsy yesterday. I don't know why. And my ring light, okay, which is right here. I don't want to blind you. It's right over here, okay tipped over right into all of these paints and I'm going to be honest with you, I am so grateful to myself that I actually started using the cups with the lids because this would have been a disaster. There were cups everywhere behind there, all over the place. I was like, oh wow, so I am grateful that I just didn't like put a, another cup on top of it. I actually, it has a lid that seals well. So today I have to, there's gotta be like 30 cups in here. Um, I have to do a leftover pour painting before A, the all the paint dries up. Uh, I don't want to like waste any paint. That's the point of putting them in the cups to begin with. Um, yeah, and I don't want to drop it again. I don't <laughs> want a potential paint disaster all over my house so that's what we're doing today okay and I am boo, 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 boo. I'm gonna do a 12 by 12 now if I have a lot of paint because um, I don't really know exactly how much paint are in all these cups um, if I have too much paint I'll do like one maybe I I'll have enough to do two 12 by 12s I don't know um, but maybe like a 12 by 12 and an 8 by 10. We'll see. I don't know how much paint I'm going to have left over. Uh, maybe it's just enough for this. I don't know. So either, you know, it will be one of these or two paintings today. Okie dokie. And I am sorry about the Primal Flow unboxing. Um, yeah, I'm going to do my best to figure out what's going on. Because I really spent a lot of money on that paint. And, um... I'm upset that it's not here, and I really wanted to show it to you guys, and I wanted to use it. All right, so I will be back in a minute, and I'm going to do a quick little stencil, and then we'll get started on the leftover paint pour. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a sec.
Hey guys, so I am back for a second before we do this pour. I hope you like the little rat guy. I love him. He's adorable. But oh my god, 20, I just can't because I'm just like curious myself, 26 cups. They have to go. So I will be back after I poured them into these cups. I'm sure I'm going to need two of them because I don't want you guys to sit here and watch me pour all these cups. That is hella boring, and I don't want to do it. So if it's boring for me, it'll be boring for you. So I'll be back with all these cups gone, and we will do the pour. All right, I'll see you in a sec. Bye. <laughs> decide to be a little pain in the butt anyway um you know in paintings like this you know you never know what you're gonna get um and i really like this this is like very and there's a dog barking outside oh i just love this neighborhood but anyway um you never know what you're gonna get because there's many different types of paint 
um, many different mediums. It could be silicone in there. And like I said, my other, um, I do have a few now leftover paint videos. Um, I, I can link the playlist here. You know, you never know what you're going to get. And I really love this. This really is like very spacey to me. Um, I just love all this, you know, kind of like a star constellation going on. I just love all this. I think it's really cool. And, um, like, and I usually put the materials in the description. So it's going to be like various, but just so you know, it's like pouring masses. It's the primal flow. It's Arteza. It's what I usually use, obviously with all different types of mediums in there. So, you know, just letting you know, I'm going to put like various materials because it's all, it would be tons and tons of colors, tons and tons of, you know, pouring mediums. And that's what's in this. It's tons and tons of different types of stuff. So I really enjoyed doing this. It's very satisfying to me every time I do this to kind of a clean up my area um, in that corner over there and not knock over, uh, you know, almost 30 uh, cups of paint, which would have been a disaster. But it's also satisfying to kind of see what happens because I don't know. It's like kind of out of my control in a way. And I kind of like that. You know, but I really enjoyed doing this. Um, yeah, let me see if I can get in a little closer for you. Yeah. So, that's that. I hope you enjoyed the little rat stencil today. And this leftover pour painting. So hopefully, my package comes today. Or I'm going to go to the post office, see what happens. And hopefully I could do this unboxing and just get my package. I want to, I want to use it. I am so excited to see what's in my subscription box from Primal Flow. I really don't know um, what colors are going to be in there. Like I say, they curate the boxes every month. A lot of times they have themes. I think they do have a theme every month. So I'm just curious, you know, I want to get started with, um, with that already. So anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so, so much for watching today. Uh, thank you for always watching. Thank you for commenting. And thank you to all my new subscribers. I am so happy you are here and supporting me. And I support you guys. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.